Hi, I'm Ted, the Marketing Manager at Ray America, and welcome to the launch event of Rayface. So you might ask who Ray is, or what Ray is for that matter. Let's be perfectly honest. Those of you might go, who's Ray? Like, is it the name of the rapper? Or is it the name of the restaurant? So that being the case, let me tell you who we are. You see, Ray is a company founded by engineers and currently ran by engineers. So what does it mean to be a, have a company that's ran by engineers? It means it's a company that's technology driven. It's a tech company as opposed to other typical companies which are ran by suits or an admin. You see, we have a whole slew of solutions. to cover dental practices workflow from A to Z. Total solution provider, that's the ethos of this company. And let me tell you something very interesting. It's an incident that occurred with a very large tech company and the CEO. The CEO gathered his marketing team around when they're about to launch this new product. And he told them, yeah, well, listen up, you guys. Your profession is based on your ability to lie. So, go out there and lie, he meant to sell a product. See, this is all too common a problem that tech companies face. Never mind the product market fit, just find a way to sell it. You see, this is where Ray differs from the rest. Ray is not a typical tech company. Ray pride themselves. We pride ourselves in actually listening to clinicians' needs and finding any way we can to meet those needs. And Rayface is a culmination of those years of listening and trying to meet those needs for our users, customers, and clinicians. You see, over the years, we've heard so many requests from our users regarding digital small design, which was initially pioneered by Dr. Christian Kochman. It's a beautiful solution, by the way. It's a solution where you take a full facial photo of the patient and then you match up the dentition data coming from intro scanner of the patient. Now, the problem is, all too often, that full facial photo of the patient, if the patient's head is even slightly rotated, any restoration you design on that information is going to be inaccurate. Now, clinicians and dental labs have seen such power in having a complete information on a patient. However, all those dozens and dozens of other 3D photo scanning solutions that were out there over the years was a complete bust. It was either inaccurate or too complicated to use or just purely unaffordable. That being the case, Rayface is here to address that issue and provide solution to that problem. We at Ray America welcome you to the launch event for Rayface. Welcome to the future. We at Ray America will continue to provide the best on the market. When it comes to dental equipment, we intend to keep the bar held at its highest standard. I would like to introduce you to our newly designed and latest product, Rayface. Rayface is a standalone facial scanner that is equipped with six cameras, which captures the most natural smile. The market had never seen a scanner like this before. High resolution and optimal lighting to produce the most defined image. Not to mention, Rayface has a scan time of 0.5 seconds. Compared to other facial scanners, 
which takes approximately 16 to 20 seconds. This is such a crucial benefit since studies have shown it's difficult to hold a smile at long. Imagine having the ability to collect all the patient's information by collecting the patient's intraoral scan, CT x-ray, and ray face 3D facial scan in one single software. This means you're collecting all the data for proper dental alignment when delivering any dental prosthesis. Rayface will change the way how dental offices communicate with dental labs. By having more data, they will be more accurate and cut production time. I am Amina Ward, the digital trainer with Ray America. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dr. Dean Vafiatis. I'm a prosthodontist in New York City and the director of FMR at NYU. We are on the verge of new technology right now that's going to change the way we do our treatment planning. Digital technology has changed in the last 10 years, but with 3D facial scanning, we can now merge those files with our CBCT scan and our iOS to really get a complete patient treatment planning at the laboratory level to help the clinician save a lot of time. 3D facial scanning is changing the way we're doing our treatment planning. We can do implant cases, we can do full mouth rehabilitation cases, we can do orthodontics. To be able to get the patient's face in the laboratory is going to change the way the technician, the, the clinician, and the patient's experience is going to be from start to finish in a digital workflow that's seamless and able to merge these files together to get real accuracy with the incisal edge position. Ray Face and Ray America is going to change the way we do our digital workflow. With Rayface, we are able to take the digital solution of the 3D facial scanning and merge those files together with the iOS scan and the CBCT scan to create an excellent way to treatment plan our patients for full mouth rehabilitation, implant dentistry, denture prosthetics, and orthodontics. With Rayface, we can do accurate dental and facial profiling without using any extra oil devices. This makes the process much more seamless and integrated. What does this mean? This means our accuracy will be better, we'll be saving a lot of time, and the patient's face and reality of the dental avatar will be in our laboratories. This is a huge change in the digital workflow. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to do this interview. I am Amina Ward, the digital trainer with Ray Marco. We're excited to hear more about Rayface, full mouth reconstruction, and the latest in dentistry. Let's begin. Please tell us a little about yourself. My name is Dr. Dean Vafiatis. I'm a prosthodontist in New York City, mm -hmm. and I've been teaching for 30 years at NYU. And we have a full time uh, specialty practice in Manhattan, and uh, we have connections with a lot of laboratories and a lot of digital solutions. Nice. What is full mouth reconstruction? Full mouth reconstruction is when we take patients that have been disabled <laughs> dentally. They've lost teeth, they've lost vertical dimension, uh, their dentition has been either uh, neglected or uh, the dentistry is not there, it's been many years, and they need to get rehabilitated. Uh, many times patients come to us with uh, hurting or they're in pain, their jaw hurts because of the loss of teeth. So full mouth reconstruction put, basically puts back together tooth by tooth uh, in the right position, again, three-dimensionally, uh, facially, to be able to put them together the way they should be ideally in their, in their dental you know, state. Okay. 
Why is it such a life-changing experience for the patient? Well, a lot of patients uh, go through a process of either um, financial distress, emotional distress, uh, and they, they lose confidence in dentistry. Uh, they're scared, they're emotionally affected, and they neglect themselves. Because of that, when they finally get financially ready to do something, and then at NYU and at the teaching facility out of my office, when we get them together to actually afford it, and they can actually do the dentistry, it becomes life-changing for them. Because now their facial structures have changed, they can eat their food comfortably, <clears throat> they feel better about themselves, they look better about themselves, and remember the smile is one-third of the face. So when you look in the mirror and you're smiling and you look better than what you did before because your teeth are really good, it really changes the personality of the patient and really has gone, you know, we know for a fact, uh, it's been many researches done, once they change their teeth, they change their face and their, their, their whole persona kind of changes. How is 3D face scan relevant in full mouth reconstruction cases? 3D face scan right now is giving us a digital solution that we kind of didn't have. We had photography, we had some videos, we have our intraoral scanner, but we never really had the patient's face in the laboratory perspective. So if the laboratory now can have a 3D face scan from race face, to be able to get that position of the real patient in their laboratory, it's going to be able to change the way they're treatment planning because now they have the patient there with them. So it's a real live scan of the face that the laboratory can use now for treatment planning, for orthodontics, for many different things that we do in full mouth rehabilitation, and also change the patient's face right there on the screen. So that's a very big thing for the dental community. What specialty would benefit from using Ray Face? Uh, there's a lot of dental specialties that would benefit. Uh, I, the first one I can think of is the surgeons and the uh, implantologists that are doing implant dentistry because people are losing teeth. People that have uh, missing teeth, they're going to need to really get their facial position correctly. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of facial photography to get the right size teeth for the patient, so that's one specialty. I think the orthodontic specialty is going to benefit uh, greatly to have this kind of technology available to the patient because their patients are growing. Right? They're seeing patients from, from 10 years old up to 25 years old. They're constantly growing. So they, they're going to be using this all the time. Uh, the other benefit is going to be for the prosthodontist and, and restorative FMR doctors who are doing full mouth rehabilitation. They want to see that profile. They want to see that face. Uh, the, the accuracy of this machine is obviously much better than we've had before. Um, so I think those, all those specialties are going to really improve. The pediatric dentists are going to improve it to be, have the children as they're growing up to have a facial scan of the patient. I think that's a big deal. Dr. V, what's the current protocol with Aldry face? The current protocol is photography, to use photography as a, a replication of the patient so the laboratory technician can kind of see the patient's face. Mm -hmm. We use videos uh, to talk to the patient uh, and then show it to the laboratory. But the problem with that is when we get, when we, that gets transferred into a digital file on a, on a software, the incisal edges and the positions of the teeth are not correct. And that's the biggest drawback for the technology that we have today. Uh, the, the technician can't merge the files together with the intraoral scan because the incisal edges or the lip position is just off. It's just, it just it's vague. You can't see it. It's not a really clear image. So with Rayface now, we're getting that ideal position and that a clear position of the uh, intraoral scan that can get merged together with the Rayface. And that's the biggest technology change that we have. Dr. V, why choose Ray? Listen, it's all about the people. In any kind of business that we do, in any kind of scanning that we do, in any kind of digital solutions that we do, it's all about the people. The technology is there, but when you have people that understand it, that really believe in education, uh, that really believe in the highest quality that's available, pushing the envelope to things that we never had before, then that's the company I want to work with. And Ray, Ray America and Ray Scan have been that company for the last five years. Thank you.